everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Just thinking about it causes my bladder to misbehave. your first of a series of episodes of TV Fall Sweeps here on my channel. If you're new here, let me just say welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. And when it comes to television, I always feel that it's very hard for me to really rank a show in terms of its episodes or in terms of an entire season. And I really don't know how to do it as well as most people. So for a while now, I have just been giving you guys a brief series of summaries about the TV shows that I have been watching and just letting you know how I've been feeling generally without a serious rating. So we're going to start this fall 2019 sweeps, especially considering the fact that we just are about to receive the fall finales. We're going to start with a couple of shows from network television, particularly CBS. So it's a very interesting year on CBS because this is the first year in a long time that we have no Big Bang Theory to talk about. The show is over. It was great. It was an excellent series finale. Definitely one of the best that I have seen in a while. But we still do have Ian Armitage and Zoe Perry on Young Sheldon heading into its third season. And I was really curious to see if this show had staying power. Because a conversation that my wife and I have on a constant basis is... We know what Sheldon is like on Young Sheldon, and we know how he's turned out in The Big Bang Theory. So, how are we going to allow this show to continue without trying to evolve Sheldon at this point? Because he really has hit the Sheldon persona that we know going into the first season of Big Bang Theory. So, they're doing it right. They're actually now expanding upon his family. We have a great series of episodes that revolve around his mother, his father, his brother Georgie, his sister Missy, who without a doubt is the unsung hero of the show. She is fantastic, and I love the story that they're giving her in this season, and of course, Annie Potts as Sheldon's grandmother, Mima, who just turns on the comedy every single time she is on screen. She is without a doubt one of the best parts of young Sheldon. But of course, Ian Armitage does a great job as well. This show is still fantastic. I laugh. I love all of the adventures that he gets into. And now we're even getting a couple of more tie-ins to the Big Bang Theory. I mean, don't even get me started on the season finale from season two. It was beautiful. But we're getting so many. I loved how they threw in a little Will Wheaton nod recently in the series. But now we're really starting to see more of Sheldon's life pan out as to what we knew, because in this specific season, they're talking about him possibly going to college full-time, which is something that does happen to him at a very young age. So I'm very curious to see how the rest of the season is going to go. I definitely am expecting to see a season four, because I'm just having a good time with young Sheldon. I really am. But now I want to talk about The Little Engine That Could, a little show that started seven years ago. I never would have imagined that it would still be as great as it is right now, and that is Mom, starring Anna Faris and the great Allison Janney. From the very beginning of this show, I did enjoy it, but there were a lot of problems that I had with the show just because that I had a feeling that it could have been better, but one of the few things that the writers had done with this show is they obviously noticed it too, and they made some very risky but serious changes to the show, like pretty much eliminating the children of... Christy, and also giving them a proper send-off, and really more focusing on her and her mother, Bonnie, who of course is played by Allison Janney and is without a doubt the best part of this show. And we're really seeing them develop. I mean, right now, Christy is in law school, and Bonnie is now married to her husband, Adam, who is played by David Finchner, and I love him in this show. I am so glad that they added him to this cast. But as the show kept going on, they were adding more 
more great female actors to the cast. And last year, they did another great service to the show, and now she is the best part of the show, and that is Kristen Johnson. She is amazing as Tammy. I loved her on Third Rock from the Sun, but it's so great to see her back on television because she plays off of this cast so well. Now, Will Sasso is on this show as the boyfriend of Jamie Presley's character, which is even better. I'm just loving all of these new additions to the cast because they're just making everything better and funnier, and the laughs are always there. Every single time I watch my show after I DVR'd it, I just love what I'm watching, and I'm so happy that this show is getting the staying power because it deserves it. It really is a great show because it hits on very dramatic topics, but then it hits on very hilarious topics. And I think that it is just such an improved show. And the seventh season is turning out to be one of the best seasons that I've seen so far for this show on television and all of the shows that I've been watching in general. So that's it, everybody. Those are my thoughts on the CBS shows, Young Sheldon and Mom. If you watch them, please let me know. I'm also hoping that this review gives you the opportunity to maybe check Check them out for yourself because I really like them. So I'll see you tomorrow for another TV Sweeps episode. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.